Good morning and welcome to Hamilton. We are on Parkdale at Across the Pond and it is time to shop. It is almost the holidays, Doug. Can you believe it? It's like weeks away and it's gonna I be know. Christmas. Who, who moved the date up? Right? I know. That's what it feels like this year. I know. The great thing about your shop is that it's kind of one-stop shopping for everything British. And when I was a kid growing up, Marks and Spencer's was like the place for my mom to go. And we were actually lucky enough in Kingston. We actually had a Marks and Spencer in Kingston. They no longer exist anymore. So you have no. to import everything. Tell us about some of your selections. Well, Marks and Spencer's, like we said, have been around for years and years. Uh, everybody's favorite. Mm -hmm. The Marks and Spencer's tea. Mm -hmm. They have probably the best shortbread that I've I've eaten. Oh, hands down. If, yeah. If if you look at the ingredients in the Marks and Spencer shortbread, you will see that it has the highest content of butter. Which, butter, fat, and sugar. Which <laughs> makes it. Which makes it. Yep. And of course, getting ready for Christmas, we have the Marks and Spencer's Christmas puddings. Yes, of course. And of Do you course, set yours the on cake. fire with the brandy. You know, I don't. You don't. I don't. Oh, I've always been one to set mine on fire. At least it like takes away some of the yucky taste. I don't, I don't like Christmas pudding. Being British and I don't like it. You know what? We have a little secret here because it's not one of my favorites either. Oh, look at that. But my customers love it. Well, of course they do. Yes. They're British. Okay, so now we've got all of our snaps. Yes, uh, these we carry year round. Mm -hmm. Marks and Spencer's ginger snaps. I feel like they'd be good stocking stuffers. That and just to eat. Yeah. With that's a nice for sure. cup of tea. Oh, now here's something you'll never get me to try the, the perfectly matured fruit cake. And that's not your cup of tea either? No, but I know it's a hit. Like, and you have British blood. I in know. You. My mom would sit down and eat that whole thing, no problem. And with so, a cup of tea. And so would I. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a, pot of, a pot of tea. And let's not forget the chocolate biscuits. The Belgian collection. Oh yeah, Marks and Spencers. Thank goodness for them. And when you open those tins, most of the biscuits are wrapped in foil. Oh. And there's something about a biscuit that's mm -hmm. wrapped mm -hmm. in foil. It just, it tastes way better. Yeah, it makes like it, it extra special. It has to be. <laughs> Okay, well, coming up, we're going to give you a full tour of the store. We're going to talk about some of the candies and the chocolates that they have. And we're going to do like a full segment on biscuits alone. So make sure you stay with us. There's lots more coming up on Morning Live. Back here at Across the Pond, and I'm a little nervous because Doug has asked me to try something that you either love or you don't love. What am I about to try here, Doug? They are called pickled onions a very popular Christmas item in the this UK. This is not an onion. This is a walnut. Okay. He's trying to trick me. <laughs> He's trying to trick me into eating it. Now, one of our friends, Tim, has tried this, yes. and it wasn't for him. Definitely not. Uh, off camera, he told me how he really felt about it. I'm a, and oh and by gosh. all means, if you don't like it, feel free to, to say so. I'm so scared. It smells, it smells like Branston pickle. Drum roll. It's not the worst thing I've ever eaten, but you're right, I think it's an acquired taste. And it's not even the taste. If I remember correctly, Tim popped the whole thing in his mouth. Oh, well, that's just Tim's <laughs> fault. It's not even the taste, it's more like a texture thing. Mm-hmm, because they're kind of slimy on the inside. But you know what? I could like put that on like cold pork. I could. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. yeah. Like it sounds like something that would be good. Yeah. So you've got lots of unique things here at Across the Pond. Um, we're about to stuff our face with a huge array of biscuits. Tell us about some of the selection. Well, it's all about the biscuits. Mm -hmm. uh, the traditional biscuits like the McVitie's Rich Tea and Digestives, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. They sell all the time. Of course. But in the UK, they seem to come up with so many new Biscuits, different ideas, different tastes, different flavors. I'm gonna do that for tea time, yes. I'm assuming. Yes. But here's the thing, Doug, I know tea time traditionally is kind of when you have like your main meal. And so would the biscuits go with that too? 
Biscuits go anytime. That's true. Who are we kidding? Per per personally, I like to open up a pack of biscuits for breakfast. I think that's a good time too. Yeah. Oh, I'm having a hard time getting into these ones. Now these are Twix, so these are something familiar. Now I said to Doug when he laid them out, I said, no, wait a second. Twix is a, is a chocolate bar. And he said, no, it's a biscuit. Is that cheating? Mmm, mm-hmm. That's a good biscuit. They are. Mm -hmm. And of course, all these biscuits go fantastic with a nice pot of tea. Mm, I know, I like and that. And while you're here, you can in investigate the Brown Betty teapots that we have. Mm -hmm. There's something special about those pots. Uh, I don't know what it is, but everybody claims tea just tastes better. I have one, it's yeah. true. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's so pretty. As, as long as it, you, you never wash it. Mm -hmm. Well, you, that's the you, thing. You rinse your pot. Yeah, you never and, wash it. And that's it. You yeah. never put soap in it. Um, the fact that it's straight from, it's the original Brown Betty, right from England, it's beautiful. And you've got good stock of that right now. So it's not just food that you have in here. No, 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 we have uh, little different gifty items you can see behind us. Mm -hmm. We've got the, the Coronation Street calendars. Oh, that's amazing. All the annuals. Mm, and all the hats for all the Football teams. I like it. Looks oh. looks good on you. Yeah. yeah. Manchester's my team, is it? I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, coming up, sweets. That is what we were going to be discussing at Across the Pond, so don't go anywhere. But for now, I'll finish my walnut and my biscuit, and I'll send things back inside the studio. Mmm. Biscuit, not the walnut. Mike's want one. Mike's going to have one. <laughs> Back at Across the Pond here in Hamilton, and Doug and I have been chatting about the store and what made you want to open up this incredible place? Uh, well, well, truthfully, I used to work for a company that imported candy, and I would buy small quantities off them, go mm -hmm. to the flea market and mm -hmm. sell it. Oh. And a lot of the British people would see a product and they would say, Oh, can you get this? Or oh. can you get that? Uh -huh. And it slowly grew mm -hmm. uh, into a, a small shop that I opened up part time. From there, we moved to another shop, and now this is our third. Mm -hmm. we're, we're growing each mm -hmm. time. Yeah. Uh, it's been a journey. Uh, I've had a lot of customers now that have been with me from day one. I bet. And that's uh, 27 years, I believe. Wow. So not only are they customers, but they're friends. Yeah. And uh, it, it, it makes running the business pleasurable. Yeah. I'm very fortunate that I have a job that I love what I do. Mm -hmm. You yeah. really are. And I yeah. love how it's such a sense of community in here. You were just telling me that at Christmas time, the store can get so full, you actually have to hold people back. Yes, <laughs> yes. And sometimes it would be a little uncomfortable for some people because we do get very busy. But uh, people handle it well. They I feel like it turns into a bit of a party. It does. It's like old home week. Yeah. Uh, people start chatting to the person waiting in line in front of them and yeah. discover that they may be cousins. Yeah, you know? we're from the same town. Yeah. My dad. Oh, my father must have worked with your father exactly. and all oh, that chap that lived down the street. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I love that. I love that about this store. And it's, I mean, it's not only a food store. It's not only a candy store. It's a real store for people to come, get together, create friendships, and you're selling memories. Exactly. Uh, it, it's a trip down memory lane. Mm -hmm. you know, we do try to get in the, uh, the new products, but it's the old sta yeah. staple items yeah. that, that people still love. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I mean, this wall that we're standing in front of, this is really quite something. This has got all of the jams that I grew up with as a kid. And you can't find them everywhere. You really can't. Yeah, and I don't think you'll... Look for a flavor that we don't care. No. It's it's there somewhere. You've got you know? it all. It's so fun. Okay, so this holiday season, if you haven't been to Across the Pond, it is now time to stop in, come in, say hi to Doug, say hi to us. We're hanging out. You never know. You may bump into an old neighbor or a friend. There's so much more coming up on Morning Life. Don't go anywhere. Okay, it's always a sad time when I have to leave the store, but I'm not leaving yet. This is our last segment, but I'm having a drink first. Oh, 
Doug, tell everybody what I'm drinking. You are drinking Oreo Coca-Cola. Wow. Very hard to find. Uh, and again, it's made in the UK. Mm -hmm. I think they stay awake at night trying to think of new flavors and different things. That's the weirdest taste ever. Because, okay, first of all, it has no calories, zero sugar. I'm on board. Um, second of all, it really does taste like Coke and Oreo cookies at the same time. Because right now they have the Oreo cookies that taste like Coke. Yes. But this is difficult to find in Canada, the Coke that tastes like Oreo cookies. <laughs> <laughs> is that different? It's different, but the same. <laughs> Christmas essentials. There we go. What do we need to have? Cadbury roses. Yeah, they're so uh, good. That, that's an essential. Everybody's coffee table needs a, a tin of that open mm -hmm. Christmas morning. Mm -hmm. uh, we have so many different selection boxes. Oh my gosh, the buttons. The, the Cad mm. Cadbury, Nestle's, Mars. But the chocolate that's made in the UK, like the Cadbury and the dairy milk that's made in the UK is different. It, it tastes different. It is. Uh, different recipe. Yeah, it's a total different as, recipe. As a matter of fact, on a hot day, mm -hmm. if you put a Canadian chocolate bar mm -hmm. on the roof of your car mm -hmm. and a British one, mm -hmm. the British one would melt so much faster. Interesting. Better ingredients. Yes. Hmm. And not I, so I'm, much I'm, preservatives. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's uh, the wax that they put in the Canadian bars, but... <laughs> the fact that we're eating wax and okay with it. Yeah. <laughs> Stick to the British Pass stuff. me some of that wax over there. It looks good. <laughs> and we have the Mr. Kipling. Oh, they're uh, so popular. Probably, what have I got there? Eight or nine different uh, varieties. Now it's like a, what is that made out of? It's like a marzipan? Is that what it is? Yes. Ugh. Yeah. I can't do marzipan either. I can't do marzipan or Christmas pudding, but everything else is good. Actually, you know what, Doug? I'm not so sure about those chips. Where's Boxing Day? Boxing Day Big Curry. curry. <laughs> I have no idea. It, it's something that uh, perhaps we'll try off camera. Um, and the hot honey. Hot honey pigs in a blanket. Yeah, see, now that's kind of more my speed. There is nothing like a good hors d'oeuvre tray of pigs in a blanket. There's really nothing like it. Is that right? Yeah. See, now you're showing your British blood. Oh, totally. Yeah. I do love some pigs in a blanket. Um, These are back. Uh, those were always in my for, stocking, Santa. For about four or five years, they stopped making these chocolate coins in the UK. And, and they're the best ones. And of course, people were in an uproar. Well, of course, because those when, are what when, you get in your stocking when, from when Santa. When you start messing with tradition, uh, people take it yeah. seriously. Yeah, there was that and always a big orange. Okay. Um, and in my Christmas stocking, there were always a pack of Dolly Mix because they're just the best. They really are. Um, come do some Christmas shopping, but more, uh, just come and say hi to Doug because you love the community. You welcome everybody in here to do some shopping and just get all that Christmas -y traditional stuff on and, the table this year. And when you come to join us, if you're lucky and I'm not busy, I'll greet you with a big hug. Oh, that's so sweet. All right, they also have a Facebook page that you can find out their information, their hours, and their number. Um, it is Across the Pond British Imports, correct? Facebook that's page? That's correct, yep. All right, and we'll have all the information on our website as well at chch.com. Thanks, Doug.